YouTube co-founder Jawad Karim, I think I say that right. Well, he uh, he's released a statement. He actually posted this on his on the very first video upload to YouTube. Apparently, back in 2005, he edited the description of it, and I have it here. So what I will do here is read some of this, and I'll give you my response to all of this. But this is on the removal of the dislikes button on YouTube videos. The YouTube creator himself or herself can see the, the amount of dislikes in the YouTube studio. All right, so he says here, I've never seen a less enthusiastic, more reluctant announcement of something that is supposed to be great. Calling the removal of, calling the removal of dislikes a good thing for creators cannot be done without conflict by someone holding the title of YouTube's creator liaison. We know this because there exists not a single YouTube creator who thinks removing dislikes is a good idea for YouTube or for creators. All right, so he's saying that everybody who watches YouTube, everybody who creates content like me hates this idea. I personally have a neutral feeling about this, so I'm not sure about that. Why would YouTube make this universally disliked change? Well, it's not universally disliked, at least I don't think so. All right, there is a reason, he says, but it's not a good one and not one that will publicly be disclosed. Uh, I believe YouTube did make an announcement or explain why. Uh, instead, there will be references to various studies, studies that apparently contradict the common sense of every YouTuber. The ability to easily and quickly identify bad content is an essential feature of a user-generated content platform. Why? Because not all user-generated uh, content is good. It can't be. In fact, most of it is not good, and that's okay. I would tend to agree. The idea was never that all content is good. The idea was, however, that among the flood of content, there are great creations waiting to be exposed. And for that to happen, the stuff that's not great has to fall by the side as quickly as possible. The process works, and there's a name for it, the wisdom of the crowds. Okay, that can be debated. Uh, the process breaks when the platform interferes with it, then the platform invariably declines. So he's predicting, because he that does not like this one decision by YouTube, this co-founder of YouTube is basically saying that it's, it, this is the beginning of the end of YouTube. Does YouTube want to become a place where everything is mediocre? Because nothing can be great if nothing is bad. In business, there's only one thing more important than make it better, and that's don't bleep it up. Okay. Uh, he states here that most of what's on YouTube is not good. Okay. So if you remove the dislike button, is anything going to change? You know, YouTube functions with partly by user feedback, uh, comments, word of mouth, news articles, you know, a friend of yours says something about this particular video or this content creator or something else, uh, you know. So when we talk about YouTube creations, you know, there is a way for you if you're watching someone on YouTube and let's say that the, you know, that the dislike button is gone and just the like button, if that particular video does not have a lot of like, you know, clicks on the like, wouldn't that already tell you that it maybe it's not that popular a video? Do you really need a dislike button? All right, so for, for example, let's say you're watching your favorite YouTube personality. You click on something, and we'll, and we'll just keep it simple. You know, it has like 25 likes, Okay, just like a simple, maybe a, like one, like a YouTube short or, or something, a short video, 25 likes. Okay, then you click on a different one that this person did and there's only two likes. <laughs> Wouldn't that already, already tell you that that particular video may not be that good or that well liked by the fact that it does not have enough or a lot of likes clicked? Just common sense here, so... I understand what this co-founder of YouTube is trying to say, but look, YouTube is not going away. We've heard all this before in the past, and it is not going away because the simple fact remains there is nothing out there yet to completely replace YouTube.